Well, howdy there, my fellow nerd knights. Present to you, four days before Christmas, The Horseman, episode three of our Assassin's Creed series. And it looks like not a lot of people are uh, digging this series, so I'll probably just do a couple more just because uh, I like the miniatures and I like the game. But I want to say thank you first to our YouTube members for supporting this channel monetarily. You guys are awesome. I couldn't do it without you. Thank you so much. Um, you guys are amazing. Uh, if you're new to the channel, or if you want to see more videos from Assassin's Creed or any other game we got coming out, because there's a ton of them coming out, I have about 30 Kickstarters. Hit that subscribe button. But otherwise, let's go. Obviously, the first thing we're going to do is scrape off those mold lines. And these ones aren't terrible. They're not bad. They're not as bad as some other games I've had. Um... <clears throat> Madara. Um, but you're going to scrape off those nasty mold lines to get ready to prime it. Once we have those mold lines scraped off using whatever tool you want, we're going to put that onto a little stand. And I'm using the large stand from Citadel because I'm Citadel buyer, I guess you could say. And then we're going to spray paint it black. I'm using an airbrush because I did a whole bunch at once, but you can use spray paint. Just make sure you're using... Uh, something like Army Pair, Vallejo, or Citadel, and do them black. I'm then going to take some white, some pure white. You can use Corax white or Army Painter white, whatever you got, and spray it from above, creating that nice zenithal highlight. And we're going to start first with our base, and we're going to put down a nice base coat of Mechanicus Standard Gray. Followed by a couple series of dry brushes, the first one being Dawnstone. We're going to dry brush on there with a nice dry brush. And to bring our highlights up just a little bit further, we're going to take some administrative gray and we're going to dry brush that on there as well. And that should create a nice looking old castle-y um, look. Now to start our regular base coat, we're going to start with painting the legs and the eyes and the ears with some ivory. Um, yeah. Next we're going to paint those hooves with some Abaddon Black. And for the dirt or the mud or the poop that our horse is stepping in on to the front hose, uh, we're going to use Sagor Brown. If you don't have any of the contrast paints, you can just use regular brown, dryad bark, whatever you want to use. Next, for the largest surface area of this miniature, we're going to be painting the robes with corn red. Now, you're going to go over all of the robed area on this, so if you need to pause it and see exactly where I paint, go ahead, because this, this portion is a little long. After our red has been painted, we're going to be painting a lot of the metallic pieces. Now we're going to be using a series of different um, base colors of metallic silver from Citadel. 
We're just going to try and break up that silver as much as possible with one dark silver, one lighter silver, and one normal silver. If that makes any sense. Probably not, but it makes sense in my brain, whatever. So the first ones we're going to use is some Iron Warriors on our horse armor to make it look a little bit darker. For the armor that our horseman is wearing, we're going to go with a little bit of a lighter silver. That's going to be Grey Knight's Steel. For our hammer that our uh, knight is wearing, we're going to use some iron hand steel. That should be about it for our metal pieces. For our strap pieces on our horse and a little bit onto our knight, we're going to be using some Rhinox hide. And I'm sorry for the camera being unfocused. I suck. For the little robes that our knight is wearing, we're going to use a little bit of Mournfang Brown. For the undercoat cloth of our miniature, we're going to be using some German Grey. For the top portion of our helmet, we're going to be using some of the Fiston Red. We're going to go back to our iron hand still well and put some of this on our metal pieces on the buckles on our horse straps. For the little bit of face that's sticking out, we're going to use some Cadian flesh tone. For that little tail that's sticking out, we're going to use a 50-50 mix of Basilicanum Gray and Contrast Medium. If you don't want to specifically have this color, you can just dilute some uh, Mechanica Standard Gray or Abaddon Black. Now for the final part of our base colors, we're going to be using some Sigmarite, and we're going to do a little dry brush. And we're going to be doing this on the edges of our robes. We're, we're following the card art, and we're making that little gold area as he's a obviously a knight or something of importance and he's got gold on his robes now to start on to our um, wash or shade we're going to be doing two parts caribou crimson one part Nolan Oil and two parts Lamia Medium. We're going to be painting this all over the red portion of our miniature. For all of our metal bits, we're going to be going over it with some Nolan Oil. You know what, as you're doing this and you're going to have to let it dry, why don't you head over to our Instagram, which is nerd.nights, and subscribe over there so you don't miss anything coming up, as I always try and post 
upcoming uh, miniatures we're getting ready to debut. For all of our brown bits, we're going to be using some Agrax Earthshade as our shade we're using on it. That's why it said Agrax Earthshade. Yeah. And our last shade, we're going to be using some Reichland Flush Shade on the face. Once you are all dry, we are going to start with our dry brushes. The first one being some Necron compound on all of our silver pieces. Now, everything we painted with a different um, silver base, we're going to be doing this one single dry brush as the undercoat will stick out darker or lighter. To go over our gold uh, edging, again, we're going to use Sigmarite again. This time we want to be a little bit more careful than we were before, so very lightly. Take your time on this. I'm using a straight dry brush on this just to get as much of a surface area as I can. Now to highlight up all of our red areas, the first thing we're going to be doing is some corn red and we're only going on the raised areas. So there's a lot of raised areas that is going on with this horse, but we're only focusing on those spots with the corn red. Follow with a little couple highlights we're going to do here in a second. We're now going to use a 50-50 mix of Wazdaka Red and Corn Red, and we're going to go over the same raised areas we just went over. And this is just building up our highlights to the final highlight of just straight Wazdaka Red. That's going to create that nice color variation from the dark recesses to the lighter points that are sticking up and out. And finally, just using some pure Wazdaka red on the raised areas of the red. For the war feathers on top of our knight's head, we're just going to redo an application of Mephiston red, not going into the recesses, only doing the raised areas. Same thing with the Mornfang brown areas, just doing a reapplication of Mornfang brown on the raised spots. And again, I'm sorry for the camera being unfocused. I'm not good at camera work, as you notice that it's not that high quality or high budget, I guess you could say. But doing Gorthor brown on some of the spots on the leggings and onto our straps for our horse. For the face, we're just doing a reapplication of Cadian Flesh Tone, just, just to kind of give it a little bit of color. For our eye sockets, we're going to keep them matching the card art, and we're just going to do straight black, and that's it. And to quickly bring up that horse's eye, we're just going to put some ivory into the surrounding areas of the eye socket and then fill in those pupils with some Abaddon Black. And that's it, you did it. I know there's a lot of them to paint, um, so that's why I try and keep it stupid simple so that you can paint all of them without having to want to pull your hair out because painting the same miniature 10 times or 15 times can get rather annoying. So. Thank you so much for watching. If you are not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. Check out the YouTube channel. Check out our um, Instagram. And I'll catch you on the next one. Thank you so much. All right, paint on.